Hey guys, I originally wasn't going to get the results of the genetic test until my follow-up visit with my fertility specialist, which is not until January 13th, but I got anxious and today I called and got the results. <laughs> talk about those results I want to explain why I decided to have another DNC uh, in my previous videos I talked a little bit about how you know having multiple DNC surgeries is not good um, and it isn't because with each one the risk goes up as far as infection things like that there's always a risk of them you know accidentally puncturing your uterus or something but um, but he's at least my fertility specialist said that the only data they really have on it is data from abortions so it's a little bit different um i mean if you have somebody who knows what they're doing and just a lot of things go into it but during my ultrasound he said that the way the yolk sac looked that it was a common indication of a chromosome problem so that's why he recommended to have us do the genetic testing on this baby as well um, and so I decided just to have another surgery because it's easier for them to collect the tissue than for me to have to you know one wait for my body to decide that it's time um, if you watch my other videos you know that my first pregnancy I went in for my first ultrasound at about 11 and a half weeks and the growth was only measuring about seven. So from seven weeks to 11 weeks, you know, there was no growth, but my body wasn't doing anything. I was still sick. So I don't know how long it would take my body to miscarry naturally. So one, I didn't want to worry about that just because that's very, you know, like every single day, you just don't know if it's going to happen and when it's going to happen. I wouldn't be able to think of anything else. Um, and then two, you know, I wouldn't want to have to worry about when, you know, I do start to miscarry naturally to make sure I get everything so that they have what they need to test, um, you know, because it's pretty small at, you know, at that point. And so I just decided to have another surgery and, you know, just go from there. So I had the surgery and they asked me if I wanted to get a call with the results when they got them or if I wanted to wait until the follow-up and originally I told them, well, just wait. But it turns out my follow-up appointment couldn't be scheduled until January 13th. So that's why I got anxious and I called. Um, so I called today and the results were that it was a normal male. So it was another boy and it was normal. And he said that if it came back normal, then we would have to try something else because what we tried last time, the folic acid and the progesterone, um, didn't work. He said if it came back with a chromosome problem, then it was probably just a coincidence and there's nothing that can really prevent that anyway. So no matter what we did, that would have just been, it would have kind of just ruled out any other causes um, but since it came back normal it means that it's just the same situation as always you know my body hates me um, and so you know from here I decided that I do want to take a break I want to have more genetic tests done I ordered a kit from um, a website called 23andMe Dot com and they will basically send you a kit so you can send a saliva sample and they'll send you you know a report of what all of your it's basically raw genetic data 
And so I want to take that to a genetic counselor and have them, you know, break it down and find out what I can be doing just to be healthy in general, besides all this fertility stuff. As much as I don't want to take a break and as much as I want that to be my main focus, I feel like I really just need to get healthy first and, you know, just take a break so that it's not so overwhelming anymore and it's not so much pressure, you know, trying to track my ovulation and it's just anybody who has tried to conceive knows exactly what I'm talking about with all the pressure and overwhelming and all the stuff that you, you know, have to do and things that you want to do to make it happen. But I think it's just going to be a good break and my brother's getting married in Jamaica at the end of April and so I think it'll be good just to take a break at least until then, be able to go to Jamaica, relax, hopefully I'll have some you know, good habits in place by then so that, you know, I can eat healthier and know what I can be doing for my body specifically with what's going on, um, you know, with the genetic mutation that I already have and with any other ones that might be, you know, causing any problems. So I think that's pretty much the next step. I just think that's the best thing to do. Um, and I probably should, should have waited until our follow-up visit to get the results because it kind of just renewed a lot of the sadness that had faded a little bit um, even though it's only been a couple weeks I you know felt like I was trying to get back to normal and when you know she said it was a normal male and just knowing that you know that's two baby boys it just it's really hard there's no way for that not to get to you and so you know it's kind of where I am now those are my plans uh, my fertility specialist talked about, you know, our next step being, you know, to test for some other, like, more rare autoimmune things, and he mentioned intralipid therapy, which, I mean, I've done pretty well not researching very much on that just because, you know, I like to get ahead of myself and find out things, but I just, you know, since I know I'm going to be taking a break, I just kind of didn't, you know, I don't even want to think about that very much, but... I'll let you guys know um, how the follow-up visit goes. I'll let you know once I make an appointment with a genetic counselor and see what they have to say. But other than that, I'm taking a break at least until the end of April to start trying again. That doesn't mean I'm not going to be taking steps to try to get healthier until that point um, because that's, you know, my goal is to have a baby. But for the most part, um, you know, I'm not going to be trying to conceive. I'm going to be trying to prevent it for the next few months just while I get healthy. But I appreciate you watching and hopefully I answered any questions. I don't even, my brain is mush right now basically. I can't think of anything. I can't remember anything. I can't focus on anything. But um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. Thanks for watching.